first time ever in a proper drag car with, of course, Technician Troy. That's the burnout. Pulling up the stage. I'm going to run, run against the uh, Torque Racing production Chevy Camaro, and it's hurt. Hopefully it's not hurt so bad that it's going to break. The jet might have a chance to get the barely do it. If you haven't, if you haven't followed Scott Speed Shop channel lately, they got a whole new shop where they can do some wonderful things with the Barely Cuda and Jezebel, among other projects. And he's really put together a nice machine shop at his place. He's doing some good work there. So. All right, hang on tight, folks. Here we go. We got a stick shift in the left lane, automatic in the right lane, long, big, broad, Mopar in the... Tree to be activated. They're not very fast. The 
the fun is out now. Yeah, here we go. Come on, you. Jim is out there trying to get her monkey back so fast if I push it. She doesn't have quite the crowd she's the left leg, but boy, she is aerodynamic. Not a first year. So for all nine of you who will watch this video, I didn't really get to film that much yesterday, which I hate, but it is what it is. Now, here are the highlights of the day. Um, Troy, technician Troy, won an award which I'm very proud of him for doing. He won the People's Choice Award, which means that he was more or less universally agreed that he was fun to be around and happy and helpful and enjoyable and uh, uh, just a nice guy. And, and people generally liked him. So they gave him, they gave him the People's Choice Award. So got to go down the drag strip for the first time as a passenger in his truck, which Honestly, Troy will tell you his truck runs eight fours. You know, I think it ran an eight four two was the fastest time it ran the whole time that we were there racing. Um, comparatively speaking, there are cars out there like Dallas's, that's Dallas Brown with his Thunderbird that runs like a six two, which is substantially faster, substantially meaner. Um, but nonetheless, a ton of fun. Uh, for me, very exciting, very stimulating, and I'm convincing myself that I don't need to build a drag car, I don't need to buy a drag car, and I do not need to get into doing this. Over the course of the weekend, I got to essentially play as the crew chief because I don't have any experience drag racing. Like I said, that was my first time going down the track and I was just a passenger. I had a ton of fun though being like I said, the crew chief, I got to check on Troy's truck and be sure that the tire pressure was good and that it wasn't overheating and that we keep the hood open to cool it off and 
helping him with other stuff. And then even little things like I made breakfast a couple days that we were there and I helped him cook dinner and just making sure that things went the way things went and they happened safely and that they happened on time on a schedule and whatever else. Uh, last thing, we couldn't decide if we wanted to leave after the award ceremony or if we wanted to leave in the morning. We decided to leave that night, which means I didn't get home until 1 a.m from Sykeston because Troy and I caravanned all the way back until he decided he was too sleepy and he wanted to sleep at a gas station called Pockets which is just weird but I'm home safe I had a blast and now I am cleaning the van because we missed a turn at one point because Troy and I were talking on the CB radio and not paying attention to the GPS so we missed a turn and the GPS rerouted us through I felt like I drove through someone's backyard. It was a weird, like, gravel road that wasn't really a gravel road. It was weird, man. And now my engine bay is filthy, which it was already filthy, but we'll say it's filthy because of this. My van is covered in dust. My windshield is filthy and covered in dust. My wheels are filthy. So... And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I didn't scratch any of my new paint on the gravel being flung up by my tires. Because my tires are oh so much wider than my fenders. You can see. Look at all that. Disgusting. Anyway, I'm getting long-winded and I'm rambling. So special thanks to John Wilburn for putting on No Name Nationals. And Dallas Brown. He helped put that event on too. Thanks to... Oh, I forget her name, Lynn. I believe it's Lynn. She's the woman who was essentially managing all the cars, deciding what car is gonna be in what lane and being sure that the monkey bikes got down to the, the water box in time so we could race. And, uh, God, who am I forgetting? Deke for making sure that all the vehicles were safe and all the people I met, Dizzy and uh, two hacks and all those guys, bad tree protections, all you guys, man, it was so much fun. It was so much fun and I cannot wait to be back next year.